This demo is going to explain the basic fundamentals of FireCAD software. A FireCAD software is a program that makes it much easier to design and submit fire alarm drawings for approvals. Creating a drawing in FireCAD is a simple process, three steps. Place the system devices, connect the system devices to the circuits, and then make reports. FireCAD uses a project approach, keeping all the drawings in a folder, which is then synchronized with a database. So we're going to open a project that's already been created, and then we're going to after opening the project, which is basically the database, we double click the interface to open the associated AutoCAD file that we wish to work with on this project. Step number one, we're going to place our devices on the floor plan. Here we're starting with a project that already has devices placed and shown on an AutoCAD background drawing. In this case, these are represented by ordinary AutoCAD blocks that were placed by somebody else, say an architect or an engineer on a set of bid documents. In order to use these with FireCAD, we're gonna to have to convert those blocks to FireCAD recognizable blocks. We look at the properties of this block, which represents a smoke detector, and we can see that it has a name indicating that it's an ordinary AutoCAD block. We're going to select all of them and then use the FireCAD tool to replace all of those ordinary blocks with a special block that FireCAD can recognize. Here we go down the list of what's in our database and we're going to choose the one we wish to use. That happens to be an SD355 detector with a B210LP base. Now, all of those ordinary AutoCAD blocks have been converted into blocks that FireCAD can recognize. Replacing blocks is not the only way to place FireCAD blocks on a drawing. The other way is to go to the device palette. In this case, we're grabbing a fire alarm control panel and placing it on the drawing. We give it an optional name. And the name is now shown as an attribute of that block. Now we navigate through the palette to find a smoke detector to put in front of the panel and we place it. We right click to terminate the command and that little yellow triangle indicates that it's ready to connect to a circuit. Now, because we've got FireCAD recognizable devices and in this video we've replaced everything with FireCAD compatible devices, we make a device legend and then we choose the devices we want to report on, and here's the list of what's on this drawing, generated in the form of an AutoCAD table. Now here we show you how FireCAD can assist you in providing adequate coverage for your strobe devices, for example. In this case, after selecting the strobe devices and we show the coverage display, we can see that we need to make some adjustments. First, we move the devices and then we duplicate one of them after moving the other two. Using the set device inputs tool, we can change the candela settings for these devices. But we still need one more to cover this gymnasium, so we simply use the ordinary AutoCAD copy selection after moving that. We copy 
that device. And now we have four strobes in the gym, which are enough to provide adequate coverage considering the candela settings we have just established. After we're satisfied that we have adequate coverage, we can select all of them and hide the coverage display. Now we go to step number two. After we have all of our devices placed where we want them on the drawing, we choose the circuit we wish to connect the devices to by going to the Circuits tab on the FireCAD palette. And then we connect everything that's compatible with the circuit we've selected, in this case an SLC circuit, we can click on and that will then connect them to the circuit. When we terminate, we right click. The addresses are automatically applied. And in this case, wire paths are automatically generated. That's an option that doesn't have to be used. We can then gen generate wire path labels indicating the wire fill with an abbreviation. In this case, the A represents an SLC. And now we go through the rest of the drawing. And again, in a like manner, we choose the circuits we want to connect and the devices we want to connect to those circuits. Now we've fast forwarded to the point where all of the system's devices have been connected to circuits on this drawing. FireCAD has automatically applied labels to the system components, indicating what circuit they're connected to, what their address is. In the case of NAC devices, the NAC circuit they're connected to and their sequence number. Now, AutoCAD or FireCAD automatically generates reports as the user selects from the report menu. So in this case, we're going to do a point-to-point -point voltage drop. Instantly, all the NAC circuits are given a NAC circuit voltage drop report, point-to-point -point style. It can also generate a lump sum report as an option. Here we generate a battery calculation on all the panels that are in the drawing. The battery calculation, of course, includes the connected loads to that panel. And here we're going to generate a riser diagram. We select Create Riser, and all of those devices which have been connected to the circuits are listed on the riser that's generated, including a separation of the levels floor by floor. The riser is generated instantly and accurately. Now, FireCAD has a very innovative and efficient tool for helping you to populate your title blocks. Traditionally, you've had to go through your title blocks on your layout sheets and populate either the attributes or the text manually one by one. In this case, FireCAD enables you to use a pre-configured title block that is set up with attributes to export those attribute data to an Excel spreadsheet. Here, more easily than doing it on the title blocks, one title block at a time, you can populate the content of the attributes in the spreadsheet. Here we're adding a project number to all four sheets. And then the approved by initials 
and we are copying that same initial to all four sheets. We now populate the rest of the attributes, including the drawing title for each drawing. We close and save the Excel spreadsheet. We import the attribute data from that spreadsheet And you'll notice that it updates the title blocks. You'll notice that it says first floor school, the unique drawing number, the initials and project number that were added into the spreadsheet are all now put on the title blocks. And then of course, when we're all done, in order to submit this drawing, we're going to need a PDF file made from the AutoCAD drawing. FireCAD includes the tools to generate the PDF. This is just a view of the final PDF file that's created and ready for plotting and or electronic submission on your project. Thank you for watching and please contact us at 847-540-6406 or the email address below for more information.